Hey, it's Gothi, and I have more video. So, this is like, this one is going to be mostly work in progress updates, whip updates. Um, I have a few different videos that are going to be mushed together at some point. I don't know which order I'll put them in, but they'll be in order. So, you'll see lots of different things. I have some haul and stuff in one of them, two of them, something like that. Yeah. Um, i grab that. So, the only real thing... Oh wait, that chart as well. Okay, I have two bits of haul. Um, one is cross-stitch related. Um, I won this on eBay. This is Dragonfly Fairy by Sam Hawkins. And it's really pretty. No surprises, I'm into dragonflies, so that's why I got it. And um, a Vampire's Coloring Book. And this is done by the same person who did, who did my body art tattoo one. So this one's really cool too. There are some like, some hairy vampires and some Nosferatu vampires. Um, there are yeah, more romantic sort of vampires and stuff like that. I'm quite happy with this. I like vampires. I'm definitely going to enjoy this. Um, yeah, so speaking of vampires, I have two new charts from Tilt and Crafts. They had a random event on last week, um, and I got in just in time. So I bought myself Liberate Me by Victoria Francis. And the random event was if you buy a chart during the random event, um, you got to pick one of the three new releases from this week for free. Um, so I picked Harido by Victoria Francis, and I'll put the pictures in, so you'll see what they look like, and I'm so happy. Sexy goth guys with violins can never ever say, you can never go wrong with that, like come on, you can't go wrong with that. Um, <clears throat> so stitching updates. Um, so last, one of my last videos I was talking about like my little list I have. Um, where I'm marking off when I do a hundred minimum a hundred stitches on each project. These ones are new starts for this month. Um, that's the Valentine's stitch along that I started last month, and that's the story time sampler. So um, to start with, one of my new starts was the St. Patrick's stitch along. Um, this one, this is where I am at with it now. Um, the original pattern says there's a little. Irish in all of us on St. Patrick's Day. Um, I changed it to Sinclair, which is my grandfather's surname, um, because St. Patrick's Day was his birthday, and it would have been his birthday, but unfortunately he passed, and this is my memorial cross stitch to him. So, yes. Um, I have to I have to extend the border a little bit here, just because um, the extra letters in Sinclair has pushed this over a little bit more. Um, and then I've just got to fill in the clovers and then do it along the top as well. So, um, as you can see, I'm using my new Q-snaps as well. Um, it's a little awkward to hold. I'm, I'm still getting used to holding it and stitching, but I'm liking how much extra space I have to actually stitch. So that's awesome. Um, and the fabric I'm stitching on is Silver Springs by Color Cascades, and it is 18 count, I believe. Yes, 18 count. So I've left the tag on so I can remember that Silver Springs, but I know the color quite well. I've used it before. So that's that one. And I'll sit you just there, if you will sit there nicely. Thank you. Um, Alright, so as for new starts, I have started, I haven't done much on it yet, um, this is the sampler stitch along, that's all I've done so far. Um, this is on, what's this one, this is Fool's Gold? Yeah, Fool's Gold by Color Cascades 18 count, um, and this is the labyrinth sampler that I'm doing on this one. Um, I'll put a picture up of it. Um, I decided to start, I, I sort of decided to make a start on this one, make a start on one of my other projects, and then switch to other ones. Um, so I will be doing more of that one soon, hopefully. Um, I, 
I've had like a crazy busy couple of weeks. Like, the, the last week in general, I've had pretty much no stitchy time, and when I've been sitting down and had some spare time, I just haven't been in the mood to stitch. So, yeah. Um, so, story time. I finished Mr. Sherlock Holmes there. Um, I didn't really do any modifications. Um, what I have decided, though, is I'm going to do some other hand-dyed uh, hand floss for the um, other frames. Um, just because I want a little bit, I want something a little different, but I don't want to make variations to the actual patterns inside the frames. So, yeah. It's going well so far. And we have the uh, Valentine's Stitch Along. Um, let's make sure I don't drop that. So this is where I'm at now. Before I only had like two or three letters done, so... I have fictional done and half of characters. Um, so this is going to say I fall in love with fictional characters. It has a heart um, border around it as well. Um, this fabric is from Stitches and Spice. It's 18 count. And I am stitching it in Fibalicious Poison Rose. So, yes. I did a little bit more in that. That's all I've stitched. Oh no, I've, I've done a little bit more on the Tilt and Craft piece that I'm doing. Um, and I will grab that out in a second. I'm just putting these back in the drawer so they're nice and safe. I have to get a few more flosses too to finish Arthur's. Where is Arthur's? Where did I put. Um, that is a good question. Where is he? There he is. This was my other new start. Um, it doesn't look like much at the moment. I haven't, again, I haven't done much. I was just starting it so I could have a starting point. Um, but this is the Arthas Before Corruption um, pattern that I got from um, I think it's Jay's Game Stitch on Etsy. Um, so I've started that one. I have to do some more on it. But I don't know how much stitchy time I'm going to have in the next week because I have a bunch of Centrelink stuff to do which is never fun. Um, I'm behind with job hunting just because I've been busy um, and I've been really behind on making videos and stuff too and yeah I just haven't had much in the way of free time and because I'm not I'm not feeling the greatest at the moment either, so I've been sleeping a lot, which is weird for me. I don't usually sleep. Um, so I've just got to move some paperwork and stuff around to get to this other one. Um, yeah, that's the little charm that'll be going onto the St. Patrick's Day stitch along as well. So I might just put that with the Q-snaps there. Um, those are Andrews. He hasn't put them with his stitchy stuff yet. So, so I've done a bit more on this. Um, I started on this side, and this side doesn't actually have a lot of 310, like black. It's actually the opposite side that has most of the 310 in it. So I started filling in some of the other colours. There are some browns and stuff in there at the moment, but there'll be some purples and that there too, so. But even so, it is a lot of confetti, a lot of colour changes, and yeah. The one thing that did make me giggle is the pattern. The pattern actually has the word fuck in it, because um, F, U, C, and K are used as some of the symbols for some of the colours. And there are a few where they're in sequence, and I found that quite amusing. So, yes. Um, that is... That's all I've stitched on so far. I haven't done anything else on anything else. Um, I would like to do some more on Arthas, <clears throat> and also on the Heaven Earth Design one. Um, those will probably be the next two that I work on. But, yeah. I really... I just haven't had the time or the motivation to stitch. And it's really frustrating me. So, and it's probably not going to change in the next couple of days. I'll be able to get a bit of stitching done today 
after I edit and start uploading and stuff. But I have raid tonight, so I'll have that to do. Um, and then tomorrow, I think tomorrow I've got to go to the shops and do a few things. And then Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, I should be okay to just sit and stitch for a bit. So he's hoping. Um, but I mean, this this past week hasn't been all bad. Like we um, we went to the movies a couple times, which is really rare for me. I don't go to the movies often because it's quite expensive. But um, we got an offer where we could buy eleven dollar tickets for a couple days. So we went and saw Seventh Son on Sunday, which wasn't bad, but it wasn't anything spectacular, fantastic either. Uh, we saw Chappie on Monday, which the movie idea was pretty cool, you know, a pretty sound idea. I don't like Deant Wood, and if you are not a fan of Deant Wood, I would probably tell you to brace yourself for overkill of, D of Deant Wood because the amount of their music and stuff and that that they used in there was ridiculous. Like, it was it was overkill for Deant Wood. Like, my housemate Andrew likes Deant Wood, and even he thought it was just too much. So, be warned, it's very Deanne Wood with some robots. Um, and then last night, I went to the movies by myself, uh, which is a first for me, the first time I've done it in the wheelchair. And I went to see Insurgent, and... <laughs> Alright, if you've read the books, and you're going to go see the movie, don't expect a good movie. If you haven't read the books, and you go see it, don't expect a good movie. I'm, I'm really pissed about it, actually, because, I mean, anyone who saw the trailer and who has read the book saw that there were some pretty major differences from book to movie, but the ending, like, like there, there were lots of little things in there that just really bugged me that were completely different to the book. You know, but I'm sitting there saying, all right, well, you know, you can never have a book-to-movie adaptation that's absolutely perfect. There's just not enough time, and, you know, especially with things, like, especially with YA, like, dystopian YA and stuff like that, there's a lot of things happening. So I understand that. But then the ending. So the way they ended Insurgent essentially cuts out the first eight or so chapters of Allegiant. Um, and considering they're making Allegiant into a two-part movie, and they've already cut out a significant chunk of the book, like, I have no idea where the hell they're going to go with it, because they've screwed it. Like, big time. So, be prepared to be angry, is all I can say. So, yes. Um, but that will do me for now, because... I don't know if I'm going to have to make this into two videos or just one really, really long one, but yeah. There will be videos. They're there. I've been recording them as time's gone on. I just haven't been able to sit and edit them and upload them and all that kind of stuff. So there will be videos. I'm sorry. Life. Life gets in the way way too much. So I'll see you guys later. Hey, it's Gothi, and I'm doing... um. Basically, I have some puzzles to open, just two, but yeah, why not? Um, so, I know what this one is. Ha ha, all in one. Okay, and then... Mm. So, I got myself... The Enchanted Forest Coloring Book. This is by Johanna Basford. Um, this is the second one that she has out. But I really do love these designs. Like, yeah. So it's got a dust jacket. That's also one that you can colour. So I'll take that off while I'm looking in. They get in the way sometimes. Bookmark. Never have too many bookmarks. Um, so, yep, yeah. and yay, <laughs> I've, I've been really obsessed with the whole 
adult coloring book thing. Move this way a little bit more. Oh, I really like that one. It has dragons in it. But yes, I'm very, very happy with this. Oh, that was cool. I'm having a look at this through the screen myself, so. Oh, box. I like boxes. <gasps> Wait. Okay. Alright, I have to go back. There was a dragonfly. But, yes, this has got some really, really pretty things. And, um, the thing with this one, too, is I believe there's, like, um, little hidden bits and pieces within everything. Um, yeah, so, in this one, there's, like, a little mouse right down the bottom. So they all sort of had hidden things in here. Which is really cool. I, I quite like that idea. These are really pretty. Unicorns. Oh, that's cool. It's a skull. I like skulls. It's not surprising. I'm a goth kid. It's a frog. I'd like to get her other one, which is the uh, the secret garden. That's next on my list because it's pretty awesome. Now that is gorgeous. That is amazing. I love that. I love dragonflies. Anyone that knows me knows I have a thing for dragonflies. What's this? Wine voucher. See reverse. What's this? Choose your wines and cart. Hmm. I'll have a look at that. I like wine. Dirt cheap cameras, nah. Bookmark. They can go in the box with the rest of my bookmarks. I have a lot of bookmarks. Lots of bookmarks. But yes, this was $14 um, from Booktopia. And... Booktopia. And I paid nothing for shipping. They had a free shipping charge on so I was like, hey, I will get some free things. The other package I have is a... One, two, three stitch package. So, I'm gonna find my scissors. Where did they go? I put them underneath stuff. Why did I end up doing that? Okay. Yay! Okay, so, oh wow, that is going to last me a very long time. So the first thing I have is a cone of DMC 310, because I have so many projects that use this that I just needed to have some sort of other option, because buying it by the skein was starting to get really expensive. So, yes, that's... That's going to last freaking forever. I'm so happy about that. Um, I got my I got a Q-snap frame. I've heard good things about Q-snap frames, so I decided to grab one. I got the 11 by 11. Not as big as I thought. I thought it would be bigger, but that that seems like a pretty good size because I don't have a stand for them. So I also got replacement clamps for the. Um, I think these are for the 8 inch or 5 and 3 quarter ones because there is a lap frame that you can make out of um, PVC pipe and I've been having trouble finding the PVC pipe in the half an inch diameter so this way I can take these down with me and be like alright well let's see what's going to fit so yes they're only like 2 3 bucks each um, that is the seat and there's some stuff. And that is some more stuff. And that is some stuff. 
That is some stuff. And yep, that's it. Okay. So I got this. This one was on sale. And this is a really pretty mandala. This is from my big toe cross stitch designs called the Looking Glass. And this is done with DMC and Dinky dies, but I'll probably just use hand dye flosses for it because yeah. So this was like six dollars on sale. And I threw it in there because it was really pretty. Let me go up there. Oh wow. <laughs> My drawers are getting full again. Um, so this one is um, a little Irish St. Patrick's Day pattern. I'm going to be altering this so that instead of Irish it's going to be my grandfather's surname um, and I'm going to do it as a memorial to him. Um, so that's for the St. Patrick's Day stitch along that starts technically today for me because it's the 13th today with the uh, cross stitches fun group. It, um, it has a little charm in there as well so that's really cool. Um, then I also got um, I got this little cheap Halloween tree, which is pretty cool. And I got um, ink circles. Here comes travel. All together now. And first base. Um, that, that's the receipt I go over there. Um, and then I have a little bag of stuff. So they had a cat cookie cutter for a dollar, which I got because cats. I got some more highlighters. Um, I, my blue Brixian that I've got here um, is almost out. And these things I pay like $4 for here in Australia each, which is not good. Um, that is... Okay, um, this one is for Andrew. You should have come out of the bag. Um, it is a needle threader with a magnifier, um, just because he has a bit of trouble with that. And I figure he could probably use the magnifier if he gets stuck. Um, we don't know if he's going to need one for actual stitching yet. Uh, then they had some stickers on sale. So I got some Halloween y ones. And I got some cats. Um, these ones are puppies. And more cats. Uh, uh, so then I got two little plastic hoops for Andrew um, because the design he's working on at the moment is pretty small and his other, the one that he's doing next is also not that big and we can't get small hoops this size in Australia well, not anywhere that I found anyway. Um, I got three schemes of DMC 500, and having a look at it now, I'm not sure it'll work um, because do I have any up there? Yes, okay. Because in my Arthur's project, um, the two outline colors are supposed to be 939 and 500, so that's 939 and that's 500, and I don't know. I'm not sure. I think I think the green might be a bit too green, but I might do a few sample stitches and see how it goes. Um, see if I like it or not. I don't know. They're just. I'm having a look. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'll do a few test stitches and I'll see what happens. Damn it! If I cannot drop them on the floor, that would be great. And last but not least, I have the two threads for the um, Irish, um, a little bit of Irish one. So there's Weeks Dye Works in a green, which is called Lucky, and the brown is Chestnut. So this one actually has a bit of variation, variation, variegation in it. And this one, not so much. It seems pretty pretty straightforward. But this one's got some alternate sort of green colours in there. So, yes.
And that's all I've got from 123stitch. Nothing majorly exciting, but they're all stuff that I can use and I've been wanting to get for a while, so um, I keep all the little plastic bags that don't have labels and stuff on them because they come in handy for like moving things and carrying things and stuff, so yes. That can sit there. And I can't fit any more patterns <laughs> in the drawer that has all my loose patterns in it. Just kind of bad. Um, so yes, um, I'll be doing... Um, actually, I have more stuff to haul. I have... yes. Okay. Might as well keep going. Um, so I got some more needle minders as well. So I have an Oogie Boogie. I doesn't really like to autofocus on stuff. No, I can't do that. It's so awkward. I'm still so awkward with working out how to show things off on this thing. Um, now I've got this little anime tuxedo mask. And of course, where you have tuxedo mask, you must have Sailor Moon with Luna. And then I also have Snape. So, they're from No More Lost Needles. Um, they always do great work. I've never had a problem with them whatsoever. Um, and I think... What was that little book that I bought? There it is. Okay. Um, and yesterday I was out and about the shops, and there's a news agency there, and sometimes you know, like they get the free gifts and stuff with the magazines that don't that aren't in the plastic bags with the magazines. So they they don't send them back to the publishers if they don't get sold or anything. So they put them in a box and you can like pick three for five bucks sort of thing. So I found this little um, cross stitch pattern book. So yeah, there's just a lot there's a lot of florals and stuff like that in it. And they don't really have pictures of um, like they it pretty much goes straight to the pattern. Which is downside, but it's stuff like um, little kitten and teacups and or floral sort of stuff. There's a floral alphabet in there. Um, yeah, it's a floral alphabet. Some finishing tips, you know, aperture cards and stuff like that. Um, more flowers, and there's some retro ones, I believe. Yeah, like there's some like sort of like birds and teacups and stuff. So that cost me two dollars, which is pretty good. Could come in handy. Um, I think that's it. I think that was it. That's it. All right. I'll see you guys later. Do do.